Hello, LGBT fam. It's Erica again. This is my ninth installment. Okay, well, it only makes sense for me to comment on how to approach fems since I commented on how to approach studs. First of all, y'all already know what I gotta do. I gotta tell you to go to the website. Go hit it up. I just added some new stuff. I update it every day. This isn't gonna be one of those websites that I forget about in a month, y'all. As long as I'm gay, it's gonna be going on, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be gay for a lifetime. So, y'all hit it up. www.thefem.yolasite.com. www.thefem.yolasite.com. Okay. Go find out what's going on with Lilo and Samantha Ronson. Find out what's going on with Prop 8. Know about your people. Know where you come from. Okay? Support our generation. Now, back to the show. <laughs> okay. I'm so happy to be off work. I'm cutting up, y'all. Okay. So, um, studs. How to approach a film. Ooh, this is. It's going to be a good one. Now, I want to get y'all's uh, comments on this. Y'all already know what time it is. Uh, <laughs> because I know a lot of studs who say, oh, it's easy to talk to fans. It's not about quantity. It's about quality. And I want to tell y'all today how to pick up a quality fan. Now, one of these hoes with shit airbrushed all over their ass and their shirt with Big ass fucking ghetto ass mandingo motherfucking door knocker earrings and glasses on jigging in the club. We're talking about a girl you can take home to your mama and and really actually be a lifetime partner with, all right? How do we approach these girls? Well, first of all, I want y'all to know these girls are going to be different from the average femme. And I consider everybody above average in their own way. Everybody has, you know, their own little personal contributions to make them men. But, um, important thing about finding a good fam is considering where you find her at. A good place to meet a fam, a really, you know, a fam that is going to be about her shit is at school. I hate to sound cheesy, but at church, and that's terrible. Right? They say, homosexuals don't believe in God. Whatever. If you find a girl you like at church, go for it. You know? Go out to nice gay bars or cafes. Not necessarily clubs. Not these young clubs, but a cafe. Go to a poetry night somewhere. You know? Um, don't go to the strip club looking for girlfriends, and I'm not ragging on strippers, y'all, because anybody knows me knows where I've been, what I've been, how far I've come, been back, forward, underneath, up, on my lowest point, highest point, everything in between. So, I don't judge people, but don't go to the damn strip club and go trying to wife nobody, or, you know, not say there's anything wrong with it, but look for long term, especially if you're older, especially if you're an older lesbian, look for long term. Um, you know, don't go to the club club looking for no damn girl. Because I'll tell you this, and lesbians, you know, lesbians normally either go out with their girlfriend or have a girlfriend at home. <laughs> when I first came out, a lesbian told me, uh, if you're going to make it in the LGBT community, you have to learn basically how to be a vulture because everybody's in a relationship. So you just got to take what you want. That's not true. There's good fans out there that are already booed up. You just got to look. You know, don't settle for these fans. And don't go after these little young girls who aren't sure about their sexuality either. Y'all know who you are doing that. Get a fam who's on your level, who's a bad bitch, a grown woman. They own car, they own job, they own, you know, they own everything. They own apartment. You will appreciate it so much more when you find girls like this you know my advice is you know go up to her and don't come at her with none of that uh yo baby you know what i'm saying you look fucking good or you know who i am or i saw you on my 
don't come at her with none of that ignorant bullshit because she's not going to want to hear that. Because she don't need you. She just needs you to compliment her. She needs somebody whose company she can enjoy. And she can't enjoy the company of somebody who sounds like fucking Lil Wayne, every other word. Talking about fucking every girl in the world, okay? So, you know what I'm saying? Come at her on some real type shit, you know? Hi, my name is Phil in here. <laughs> um, you're a really beautiful young lady. I would love to get to know you. Are you in a relationship? Lesbians like to avoid that question because we don't want to know. We just want what we want. But ask that question. Throw it out there. And if she says, oh, yeah, you know, okay, well, don't don't be nasty and be, you know, the typical androgynous, uh, sex-driven, you know, little club rat and be like, oh, well, can I be a friend? No. Say, okay, well, it was nice to meet you because you never know. Her and her girlfriend could break up a month from then and you could get a, a message on Downlink or, you know, Twitter or something saying, hey, remember you, remember me? You know, and she's going to have that memory of you being a real nice chick in the back of her mind. Um, with studs, I know it's important for y'all to show your masculinity. Don't be coming at a girl all aggressive like, hey, baby, you look good. You fine. I'll be scared if somebody came over to me like that. You know? I'm not saying you have to be all rico suave and be cheesy and be, yo, girl, you know what I'm saying? Did it hurt when you dropped down from heaven? <laughs> you ain't got to be cheesy like that either. But just be real. You know, realness, everybody talks about realness, but realness cannot be defined. Realness cannot be fucking replaced. Realness cannot be, you know, it, 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 it cannot be... It cannot be shared with anybody who's not just as real as you are. Because only real recognizes real. So just go up to the girl. Just be real. You know, you're a pretty girl. This and that. I want to get to know you. And I promise it will take you so much further than these hard roles sometimes people try to play. Um, I hope that helps. Y'all give me your comments. I know everybody likes to leave comments. I'm going to do one more vlog tonight. Maybe two. I'm going to go work on my website, updating a few things, www.thefem.yolasite.com, um, and, you know, y'all just stay in tune with me, stay in tune with what's going on, I appreciate those of you who subscribe to my channel, um, y'all make me feel like, I don't know, like a gay rock star, <laughs> I guess. And I really want to take this somewhere. I see some really positive people on here, and it really makes me happy. I mean, it's really put me in a positive place the last couple of days. So, y'all, like I said, go check out my website. Um, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you think you can be the stud of the week or the femme of the week. Um, you can send it to my personal email. It goes straight to my cell phone, and I'll put you on there. I want to get everybody real involved, okay? So, let me know what y'all think, and... Thanks for logging in to my channel.